I think this is my first time looking presentable at the start of a vlog, but hi guys, welcome to another weekly vlog. If you can't tell, I just done my makeup. I just done a review of the new Skin by Kim makeup, and that'll be up on my TikTok if you wanna have a look. This morning I seen that there's a Skims Valentine's pop-up, so I'm gonna go to that because I was actually looking online at the Skims Valentine's collection yesterday, and I almost checked out, but I didn't. And then I seen it this morning, so I'm gonna go and have a look at the pieces in person and probably pick up some stuff, which is bad because I've done nothing but spend money since I got here. I can't stop buying things. I literally cannot stop. So I'm gonna go to the Skims pop up, and then I think me and Jake are gonna go to the mall afterwards as well. So <laughs> I love spending my money. The weather in Dubai today is literally miserable. So I'm literally wearing a woolly jumper. I honestly do not have enough clothes because I didn't expect weather like this, but it was literally raining this morning. Like, it is cold outside. I've got like full on, full glam, a woolly jumper, gym leggings, and these trainers. I feel like this outfit is confused, but it's honestly all I've got right now. So, it's gonna have to do. Oh, that was super cute. I've got my little goodies. I had to get a little cherry jammy set. They're just too cute. Um, and now I think I'm going to have a little wander and find a wee cafe where I can have something to eat and do a little editing. to buy a jacket because it is freezing. It's absolutely freezing. Today's gonna to be a really exciting day because we actually have our first apartment view in, which I'm so excited for because we've got three weeks left in this place and I'm not gonna lie, I'm really excited to get out. I just need my own space. I need, finally, I need my beauty room. I've never had like a designated makeup space and I'm just desperate. I'm desperate for it. I think we both know where we want to stay, so we're gonna go and have a look today and hopefully we like what we see. And then after that, I've got an exciting meeting with someone here that's surrounding a job that I'm doing soon, which is really exciting. So I'll probably tell you more about that later. But now I need to get a little taxi and get along to Jake's work. I'm at a hair salon, which is a little clue. Okay, I'm back and I'm back a lot later than I thought I would be. It's 20 past five just now and I'm absolutely starving. Got some leftover chicken from last night. I'm not even gonna bother heating it up. I just need food right now. So we viewed that apartment that you've seen, but then she also showed us an unfurnished one because we'd be getting it unfurnished. But she says it's good to see both so you can kind of see what it's like when it be all done um, and just get like a feel for it space wise. And I really liked it. I really, really liked that apartment. I think we will end up getting one in that building. The building literally looked like a quirky hotel in like London or something like that. There's like so many areas to like sit and like work or I don't know, just do whatever. Um, and then they had a cinema room. So you can like book out the cinema room. It's got big massive bean bags and like a projector. Um, it's got a nice pool. The only problem is the one that we looked at the pool was very shaded. Um, but there's a few of the same buildings in the area, so we need to maybe just have a, a bit more of a look. So yeah, that all seems promising. But Jake came home and I got distracted. So I went for a consultation about my hair for a little exciting job that I've got coming up. So we had a little consultation and then decided what we were doing. And then the hairdresser that was doing my hair gave me a little salon tour. So she was showing me all the different rooms and then she showed me a treatment room. And she said this treatment, I literally had never heard of it. And she was like, oh my God, have you never had that? It's amazing. You need to come in and try it. And she was like, actually, do you have time now? Like you could just try it now if we've got space for you. So she was like, okay, there's space. You can literally go ahead right now and get this treatment. I was like, okay, no idea what it was, but I was just like, perfect, I'll get a treatment. Went in, sat down, and then the little lady gave me like a little pair of pants. And she was like, everything off, these on. And I was like, okay. And then what? So I'm like, just like sitting there naked with these little pair of pants on, like, 
absolutely not knowing what's going on and I'm waiting on her for quite a while and then she came back in put me through to this little room next door which was like this big massive steam room with steam so thick that like I was lying there I couldn't see through it like I didn't know if she was in there or if she wasn't I'm just like lying naked in the steam room she basically just like washed and scrubbed me for like 40 minutes and it was really good I was really good I'm not gonna lie just the fact that it was like unexpected when it happened and I didn't know what it was I was like how did I come for a hair consultation and then end up naked getting scrubbed but my skin and by the way when I say scrubbing I mean scrubbing like she had this little thing on and she was literally like all the skin that was coming off there was literally like rolls of skin just coming off my body um, and I'm baby smooth I can't wait to put some moisturizer on but I feel so so smooth look at my eyes can you tell that I've just woke up I need to leave in like an hour because I'm doing my first Pilates class today and I've never done the reformer Pilates before but I've been desperate to do it for so long. I'm excited to put on a little cute Pilates outfit. I bought some pink shorts, I'll show you them when they're on but they're like Lululemon dupes. <laughs> I'm so bad at this. I feel like I barely got any clips while I was out and about. But I'm just back to the house now. And honestly, that morning has given me so much serotonin. Like, I actually feel so lucky that I get to have mornings like that. Like, the Pilates with the view of the sea and the palm trees. Like, that's actually insane that that's just, like, accessible to me. Pilates was so nice, the setting was so beautiful, like literally full glass front and you could just see the sea outside, it was so nice. It was hard, but it wasn't like too hard, there was like a few points where I was quite struggling. It's just, your body just like shakes, like when you have to like hold a position, it gets a bit shaky. But that was a good first lesson, I definitely want to stick at that and I also want to do some yoga next so I want to try and find a little yoga class. I'd love to do hot yoga actually. I've been desperate to get the Lululemon Define Jacket shorts and top in the strawberry milkshake flavour. Is that what it's called? Strawberry milk? Something like that. Anyway, I've been desperate for it but they literally just don't sell it here and I tried to order it from the US website and they don't even ship here. So I came across these the other day at the mall. These little shorts, they're from Cotton On. And I feel like they're major Lululemon dupes. Like, the material is so nice. They're like that perfect baby pink colour. I love them so much, but unfortunately, they never had like a matching bra or anything else to go. It was literally just the shorts. So I got this little top, which, do you know what? It actually goes quite nicely. But honestly, major, major dupe. So that was my little Pilates outfit of the day. 20 to three now, and I don't really know how to fill the rest of my day. I think I should do some makeup because Jake's going to be out late-ish tonight. He's going for a facial. Okay, we've had a change of plans. I ended up on FaceTime to my mum for like an hour. And then Jake told me that he's not out tonight. He's actually coming straight home and he went to the gym this morning so he doesn't even need to go to the gym. So we can actually just have a nice chill night together for once. Morning guys, happy Valentine's Day. I'm in a rush. First thought, how cute. I was just in the shower and the doorbell went. So I had to run out and there was a little cream guy standing there and Jake's ordered me a little acai from a Valentine's breakfast. What a little sweetie. This spot is crazy. Anyway, I need to be quick because there is a lot going on today. So I say a lot, I mean literally two things, but it's Valentine's Day. So obviously we're going out for a little Valentine's dinner. But oh my god, that is so good. Yeah, so we're going out for a little Valentine's dinner. I don't actually know where we're going yet, so I think Jake will tell me when he's back from work. I also have my nail appointment today, which I'm trying a new place. I'm getting my nails done and my toes done at the same time. And by looking at this place's page, I think it's going to be a life-changing manicure, pedicure. And I'm so so excited i'm going to get my toes done like properly like they're literally going to put like gel on my toes i haven't had a pedicure since like probably over like six months probably a long long time so i'm so excited but that's at one and it takes about two hours 
and then we need to leave here at 6 so that's quite early for me so it's 10 a.m now i'm going to do my makeup or the majority of my makeup for tonight so that i can kind of go about my day i also need like lashes and like some little bits and bobs for my hair so i need to find a shop somewhere or a mall but the annoying thing is the closest mall to when i'm getting my nails done is literally like the Dubai mall and obviously it's massive so I feel like it's not the type of mall that you want to like pop into for a few bits because I think I'll be there for like five hours trying to get around and find everywhere. I have a Benefit Cosmetics event tomorrow night and the dress code is pink and chrome and I wore pink and chrome to the Huda event just randomly so that's so annoying because I don't have anything else pink um or chrome so I kind of need to try and find something there. Oh god I'm really in a rush. I'm going to get my makeup on now. I feel like I've literally just went blah, 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 blah. but that is the plan for today. Okay, I've done like my base makeup. I look a little bit crazy. Okay, let's go. I think this might be the prettiest rosies he's ever gotten me. <laughs> That's the cutest thing ever. I didn't even manage to vlog while I was out and about because it was just so hectic. I was running around the mall and then I had to go straight to get my nails done. They are so nice, by the way. I got my toes done as well and they're so, so good. I honestly can't believe that that's my toes. They are literally pristine. So, so good. Anyway, let's do a little haul because... I've been shopping again. So, I couldn't find anything pink for the benefit event tomorrow um, when I went to the mall, but I did pop in to Zara. I honestly, these jeans didn't even fit me that good. But I like the color of them and I like the fit because they're quite long on me. So with a little pair of like pointy heels poking out the bottom, I thought that would be really nice. And I only have two pairs of jeans. So I really need to expand my collection. There's a wee pair of heels that I've been seeing in Zara as well. I also don't know what the occasion is going to be or the outfit for these, but they're just too cute. Too cute to not buy. Look at them. Oh my god, the little bows are everything. And then I have an Opali order. So, basically, I've been struggling here slightly because I'm literally like a last minute person. Like, if I had an event, I would be ordering something on next day delivery and just hoping for the best. Like that's kind of how I've operated for a long time, but you can't just, you can't do that here. You need to plan ahead. If you've got an event, you need to order like a week in advance. But anyway, I've still not been doing that. So Opali is the brand so far that has the fastest shipping. So I ordered this, this took two days to come, which I think is pretty good. So I ordered some things that I might wear tonight. Then a couple of like kind of basic dressy tops. This is the top, this is the first top. It's just this little black vest with this little brabbit and then the front bit kind of drapes over but skin doesn't actually show. It's just kind of like a layered top and then I also got that in white. Here's the top in white, very cute. I just thought for like dinners or stuff, like a nice, a nice basic that you can throw on with like jeans and heels and still feel cute so say what you want about opoly but there's nothing better than an opoly basic like this material is just so good so thick it's like double lined sucks you right in like you genuinely just cannot beat basics from opoly then i ordered this little short dress because i'm feeling i'm feeling i'm in the mood for a little mini dress um this one is very valentine's day vibes but jake is telling me that this is not going to go with the aesthetic of the restaurant so he wants me to wear the other one but this is like this kind of meshy red mini and then it has this little this little slip thing here in the front and then a little drape over it and i think that that is so cute for a little pair of red heels I like i've just recently been wearing long maxi everything and i want a little i want to wear something short and sexy this is the dress that Jake prefers because he said that white is going to go with this location. It's just a white maxi dress all the way to the floor but then the back is like backless and then draping over your shoulders. 
It's this little floor decoration. So yeah, this isn't something that I would really go for, but with the two-day shipping and the fact that I know it's gonna fit me so good, I just, I got it. But I think I'll probably prefer the red one. Right, let's try these dresses on and decide what I'm wearing. Okay, optional one, guys. This is very, very date night. I feel like I would never have picked this on the website. Like when I just seen it myself, I scrolled right past it, but then I seen, what's her name again? I think she's called Liana. Anyway, I follow her on Instagram and she's gorgeous and she wore this in one of her reels. And I was like, oh my God, that dress is amazing. But I would have never picked this for myself. It is mesh um, and it's quite see-through, which I didn't notice on the website, but nah, they're different reds. I was gonna say, I know. Guys, what the fuck? Jake got me lubes for, oh, he got me lubes for my birthday. And then I wore them for the first time on the leave at night. They are wrecked. I ended up wearing them in a fucking rave. Who does that? They're actually filthy. Do you know what? From the top, they're not that bad. They just need a wipe, but... <laughs> That's heartbreaking. Hi. This is the next one. I feel like I'm getting married. She's lovely. Like I said, it's not something that I would usually pick for myself, but... Given the options, do you know what? It's cute. I feel like Jake's gonna really like it, but I think I definitely prefer the other one. But it fits so nicely. So I'm gonna finish getting ready and then I'll show you what I end up wearing. Another Valentine's Day surprise. Magnolia Bakery. Oh. <gasps> I'm just gonna get one and eat one there. Wait, I do that. <laughs> How did you find that? You're thoughtful. You're just thoughtful. Yeah. <laughs> That's just the thoughtful guy you are. We're a little bit tired this morning, but we're up and out nice and early because we're going to view those apartments again. There's basically two buildings that are right beside each other and they're so similar, like the apartments on the inside are really similar, but they've got like different pools and gyms and stuff like that. Um, and then last time we viewed the normal two beds, but there's these corner units as well that are slightly bigger and they have more windows. So we're going to view them this morning. So the first agent has stood us up. This apparently. is what I'm dealing with in my industry. <laughs> um, and the next one we're not meant to meet until 10. So we've still got a second guy to meet so in the meantime we're just gonna have a little wander. Area. Try and get to know our new area. A little kitchen with open living room and then this big glass door that we go through to my makeup room but we'd put a little curtain here to hide all my mess. Small bedroom, but it's big yeah. enough. <laughs> Little bathroom. Filming room. Could just get IKEA packs, like all yeah. along this side. This one is so high, oh my God. Such good views though. Okay, that was a semi-successful visit. We're not going with the exact ones that that guy showed us, but we, we now know what we want. So I think we'll have everything sorted pretty soon. I honestly can't tell you how excited I am to move out of here and to move in there. Like that area is just so nice. There's a place for morning walks, little cafes nearby. Like it's just got so much nicer vibes. I'm so excited to live there. <laughs> And have a makeup room guys. I think I might cry when I get my makeup room like oh my god I've been waiting for this since I was 10 genuinely that will be The best moment of my life honestly. Anyway, I'm back home and I'm gonna make my favorite breakfast the feta eggs Just too good and I'm hyper fixated on it just now. So I will probably have this every day for the next like two three weeks and Then find something else to obsess over. I'm gonna give you a tutorial because I don't really know what else to film today. Okay, so Tortillas, 
feta, pomegranate seeds, two eggs and an avocado. Get the tortilla nice and toasted in the pan. Meanwhile, mashing your avocado. I don't know if this is a life hack or if everyone does this, but I like score the avocado into little squares and then just mash it in here. So you don't need to empty it into a bowl and dirty another dish. This is its own bowl. And then you mash the avocado and put an even layer like this. Olive oil in the pan. That was maybe too much olive oil, but feta. And break it up. Ah! Why is it spitting? Crack the eggs over the feta. Let that. Oh, that's splattered. Lid, this one doesn't fit. Just pop that on there and leave it for a few minutes. So now the eggs are cooked, but the yolks are still runny. Apart from this one, this happens every time. The yolks always just crack. So now we're gonna cut this in half. Okay, can I do this with one hand? No. It's like a taco, basically. It's like an egg breakfast taco. I've got salt and lots of pepper on here as well, by the way. Then this is what completes it. Chili flakes and pomegranate seeds. This is the best bit. Are you ready? Ah! Lovely. Oh my God, guys, I've just been sitting, kind of relaxing, made my lunch. I'm like, wow, I don't have anything to do today. I've just got all day to, you know, really get prepared and get ready for the benefit event tonight. And I realized that I actually have a job that's due today. So it needs to be filmed and edited today. And it requires me doing my hair five times. So I better get back to work. Wow, I just had to do my hair five times for that video, but I done it quicker than I thought I would. It's half past five now. Benefit event starts at eight. My makeup's on. I just need to find something to wear and edit and send over my video before that time. I think we'll be fine. Okay, I've managed, I've got ready and I'm not even that late. My little outfit of the night. I'm not really vibing. There's a matching skirt to this that I have. I wore in Ibiza, but it's like a mini, mini skirt. And I think I'll just feel a bit self-conscious in it. So I've just put the top of these little jeans I don't know if it goes pink heels. It's the only thing I've got that's in like the pink theme. Scent of the night, scent of every night. Parfums the Marley, Meloria. This smells like heaven. Everyone loves Delina, but this is my girl. And then I've got my little pink Dior bag. And that is the fit for the night. <laughs> babes. Just been filming another ad this afternoon for a gorgeous foundation stick from Ilia. You probably can't tell because this lighting is so bad but it is such a nice natural glowy foundation stick. Beautiful. The benefit event last night was so fun and I finally got to see my girl Haleen again. She's literally one of my favourite makeup girls that I've met from going to events and stuff back home and she moved out here like a few months before me but I finally got to see her last night and that was so so nice. So that was a lovely little night. I was basically just catching up with her really. And yeah, it was fab. This background looks like I'm getting my school photos taken. Also, Jake is on a work night out tonight. So this is gonna be my first solo night alone in the apartment. So I think I just wanna have a nice chill night tonight, read my book, maybe order some sushi, do some skincare. And I've still not seen Saltburn. So I think I'll watch Saltburn because Jake's not really gonna be that fussed about watching it. So I think that's gonna be my little activities for tonight. I'm quite excited for it to be fair. Right, I've done a bit of cleaning and now I wanna have my zen time. So first I'm gonna take off my makeup. I got sent a red light therapy mask and I've not used it yet because, I don't know, I've just not really thought about it. But I seen a TikTok this morning of this girl telling her friend that she wanted Botox and then her friend literally like broke down the science of Botox and was like, 
oh my god did you just hear my ankle crack that was so loud um he was like if you get botox you're just going to get wrinkles like elsewhere um and he was like if you consistently do red light therapy then your skin will be like almost like thicker i don't know he basically said if you do red light therapy consistency you won't get wrinkles and i was about to book in and get botox again because i got it once for my frown lines they don't seem as bad now because my claw clip is literally stretching my skin back but i was going to book in for that but now i'm like okay how about i try this red light mask first so i think what you're meant to do some people say start with a completely clean face but then other people say do your serums first and then i seen someone else put a sheet mask on underneath it but i feel like that that doesn't make sense to me. So I'm just going to cleanse. I love this one. This is the Tatcha, the rice wash. So good. I'm just going to pop on some hyaluronic acid. Okay, I'm excited. Let's go put this mask on. Welcome to the bed. I feel like you've never been here before. This is the mask I've got. It's the current body one. My mouth doesn't reach the mouth hole. Pea head problems. Hi. So now I just sit like this for 10 minutes. Oh my God. That was so uncomfy. <laughs> I'm so tired now. And I didn't even order any food. But then I sat with this big bag of Hershey's Kisses that I actually got due for Valentine's Day. And I've just been eating them. And now I'm just not hungry, but I know that I need proper food. Maybe I'll just have to get some gyosas or something quickly delivered and watch salt burn. Does someone actually want me to die? This is so annoying. So yeah, I'll see you tomorrow. Jake's hungover. I am not, I'm not actually. <laughs> I'm the complete opposite from hungover actually, thanks. <laughs> We're on our way to a little food pop-up tonight. There's this place called Salt that everybody raves about and it's kind of like burgers and chips kind of vibe. And they're doing like a pop-up thing where they're doing like a Japanese version of their menu at the Museum of the Future. So it looks really, really nice. So we're going to try that tonight. Cutest little place ever. God, I think there's a performance starting. <laughs> Wagyu. Wagyu steak. Nice. Oh mate. Is it so good? That's stunning. Absolutely beautiful. Mmm. Grilled corn? Yes. Wow. Chips are on you. Have you tried one already? Yeah. Oh my god, Jake. Just a hot one. Mmm. Oh my god, they're so good. Look at that. Oh, back. Mm. Wow, 10 out of 10.